What is up, everybody? Let's do a reverse loop. So, let's create an array. So, let's start at 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we're going to do a for loop. So, array length minus 1. I. So, Uh, hold on, it's the end of this one. Oh, okay, got it. There you go. This should work now. So basically, it's um, the array's length is right now four. One is like is like should be five items. Zero one zero one two three four five. So we'll console log that. So the array length minus one. Let's run that. See, it's five. five items so we're gonna reverse so it's five four three two one well we're gonna include zero so no zero I include zero. Come on. There you go. Typed it wrong. So now this includes zero. So so the minus one. You gotta set the variable at i at the length of five. My, this is six, so minus one. You gotta start the variable at six because it's doing backwards. So there's like six of these arrays, and then when you have the variable at i at five, and when i is less than or equal to five, you're gonna decrement every single time, so you're gonna go backwards. The loops are gonna go backwards. So it's gonna be five, four, three, two, one. Oops. So this is a reverse loop. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial and until next time guys. Bye.